Hey guys, how are you? It's Sir O'Neill here, uh, Wheelcastle um, Paint and Decorating. Um, I'm sure you can already notice the colour on the hand painted furniture I'm doing here. Um, this furniture, furniture was actually oak. Um, just want to see, I've done it right on the backs. Um, see if it, there, there was any columns about it. Anyway, anyway it, was all, it was all oak. It's now a uh, colour town colour called Harlan's Island. Um, these drawers here, there's two sets here. They're ready. They've had two primer and one coat of finish uh, colour town satin. They did get another two finished coats. And I'm going to put the second coat on now. I've done all the doors, the backs of all the doors. I've, uh, I'll just go around quickly with you here and just show you what, exactly what I've actually done here. So, um, over here in the corner here, you can see that we chest of drawers. Has to get a finished coat. These are the four doors here. Um, they have to get done. They've had uh, two finished, two primer, two finished coats. They have to get a finished coat. Those two cupboard doors there have to get another two coats. Let's go into that corner. Uh, that's shelving. I started, I primed it earlier on, it's still a wee bit pretty, so I won't leave that there until next week. Um, I'm on, on another job tomorrow. And as you can see, this whole area here looks quite nice. And the blue trim all around there, that's where the, the four cupboard doors goes. All around here, I've got them off. But at the minute, so there's six drawers here that I can do. Um, they can get um, another uh, fourth, let me see, fourth coat. Yeah, so you can see the six, the six door there. So all you know, I mean, you can see the color. The color looks. I, I think color's lovely. The walls. Um. So whenever I put a second coat of uh, satin on this woodwork, then what I'll do is I'll do, I'll put a coat of uh, I'll do the walls. The walls have all been stripped. I told you this before, sanded, lined, and they're ready for a color term color called temperance. Which is a perfect match for this. I've used this before. I've used this colour on a hand painted kitchen with temperance on the walls, and it is very nice. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna brace these in. Normally, I can, you can do a wee flat bit with a wee roll and then lay it off. But uh, the backs are all done. I've got. Uh, I've done them this morning. I primed them and uh, 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 put a finished coat just on the back. Not as flat. I know me. You don't need to put four coats in the back, but you still have to paint the backs. You know, for a nice tidy finish. So the backs are all finished. Um, so we've got it there. So we've got that set. That set to do. I'm using an inch and a half pretty brush. Uh, there's the colour tone in there. I'm using a paint kettle, and the colour is there. Uh, I tell you the exact colour. It's called. It's, it's on, on this label here. It's called Hearns End, and there's your your in there. So it's colour trans satin finish. And it's absolutely ideal for hand painted kitchens. It goes on so smooth, honestly, it, it's, it really does. It's a beautiful paint to work with. So I'll take this tap drawer right first. Do the tap one. And as you know, you've seen me doing these before. Uh, and I have a reroller chair here. I have my roller. I always find they're using a roller on the edges. You get a, a fair finish, uh, you know, going around these edges here. And so I'm just go in the edge first, just with the wee, with the roller. And that'll make you get a tighter finish. You do it far quicker as well. Uh, that wee edge there. And I'll do that wee one as well. And I always, uh, the, the top drawer, I always could, uh, throw a wee double pin in underneath the, uh, the bottom edge. So you don't really need to, but you know, it doesn't do any harm uh, to do that. And lay it off lightly with your brush there, there, and there. Okay, so if you want to do this yourself, um, so remember, this is Baroque furniture, and you want to paint this a colour, turn colour. Wash it all down, degrease it, and sand it. after you wash it all down, sand it down. You don't need to go mad, get a wee sanding pad. On these here, maybe 240 grade, 180 grade. Just get a wee sand so the primer can grip to it. Two coats of Colour Trend Prime 2. Colour Trend have four primers, it's Prime 2. Give it two coats of primer and three coats of finish. And 
If you do the job right, you're set with a brand new, honestly, you're set with a brand new piece of furniture if it's done properly. There we go. So again, uh, do your edges. I'm just going to take my glasses off here. Sometimes I, uh, I don't really, I, I need my glasses off sometimes, you know, especially if I'm from high wallpaper, you know, you're doing tight edges and stuff. And you need the edges have to be really bottom tight. But as you can see, you do, you do run the inside edge first. Just lay it off nice and light. Make sure there's no uh, runners or anything like that. And you do the middle section where your knob goes. And as I say, the customer has bought brand new chrome knobs. Uh, there was actually there was actually oak oak knobs on these here. You know, in the middle, honestly, you know, and the difference from oak to this color on a chrome knob is is just. Uh, the difference is, 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 is just unbelievable. It really is, honestly. I'm not just saying that. It, it's, it's a pleasure doing it. It really is. It, it, it makes all the difference, you know. Uh, so there you go. This, so this is the second coat of satin. So as I explained to you before, it's had two coats of primer. Uh, and it's the prime two. And uh, funny, when I was doing this job at the start, um, you know, and I was doing a video on it. Uh, there should be a few videos out, out there, you know, that I've done. You know, you, you look at the prime, you go, that doesn't really look great, you know. But see, whenever you start putting your finished coat on, you know, um, again, it's still important to lay your primer off very lightly, the way I'm doing now here with my brush, you know, and just check for runners, you know, there's no runners or anything like that. And just lay off very, very light. Push that drawer in there. Don't push it in too tight. And bring out your, your next one. And again, just take a wee, wee, wee light dip of the roller. You know, you, you only need a wee touch going around the edge, you know. And just go in like so. So you have three edges for the edges, really, you know, right? I don't but you don't need to bother too much with the with the edge underneath there, you know, but if you've got your own you can give it a wee a wee dip like that there. Um and again just lay it off lightly with your brush so there's no roller mark showing. As I say, it's a hand painted kitchen, you know, and you don't you don't you don't want roller marks showing. Again, there's your four edges. There's one there. There's two. And, and, and I'm sure you know this are too, you know. See the more paint you put on, the easier it goes on, honestly. You know. But as I say, in between coats, I've already done it, sand it down. Every coat you give, you know, give it a wee light sand down with very fine sandpaper. See that I'll show you it now. See that uh, wee sand pan I have there? I, I mean, it's worn, it really is worn out, you know, and it, it won't do any damage to this here sample. But what it does is it takes any wee bits of grit, if there is any, but there's very little grit in this paint. I keep, I try my best to keep the paint really clean, you know, and uh, but just the odd time you might pick up the odd wee bit of grit, and uh, you know, the, the, the wee sanding pad. Just takes it off, right? See after you see after you do that, I'll just bring that uh, down there. I'll just bring it down a wee bit there, like so. So after you do that there, just lay it off very very light. That wee middle section there, go across there, light, very very lightly. And again, I'm hardly holding that brush. I just bring down those two wee edges very light there. Okay. Bring that in there, like so. And then just there's your last one. And I hope you like the color. I say I think about this before the colors absolutely. <laughs> I love this color, you know, I really do. It's very modern, you know. Um you know these uh, even the grays, you know, you have you know, you have the grays. A lot of people are using grays and stuff too, you know, but this color here, here has a, a a nice blue tinge on it, you know. Honestly, it's beautiful. It really is. I have um, 
Uh, and actually, what I may do is uh, I I done a kitchen there a while ago with this colour. Uh, I may I may do a wee, I may take a few photographs and put a wee video up and let let just have a wee look at it. Yeah, you know, a kitchen finish in this colour. Um, uh, give you a few ideas, you know. But um, the colour that I'm putting on the walls, temperance. Uh, it's a neutral colour. It's fit. It's very very nice, obviously. And whenever you see it done. Uh, you will see a big difference, you know. At the minute, you can't see, you know, progress here, but you only, you only really uh, see see progress when it's completely finished for me. Whenever it's, you know, I think whenever you get the carpet down, you get your curtains up, you know. Um, I think that's whenever you, you know you see all the difference. But still, I still think, think it looks very smart. What do you think yourself? I hope you say yes. There we go. Just lay that off very, very light. Just, just light stroke, like so, in the middle. Come across the top there like that. Come across the bottom. And those two wee bits at the top, okay? Now we'll come over here to the next set of drawers here. I'll do these as well. So let's see if they're ready for the finished coat. So they've had um, two primer and two finished coats. So in total it gets four coats all the time. That's what it gets. I'll just get that. Just do this there a wee bit of that. And underneath there, you know, a wee mess there. Um, none of us are perfect. You know, not even myself. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> there we go. I just send that there, like so. So you go. So look, you've got that set, set there, done and all. There's the three coats on, on there, and I hope you like it. I actually may turn the light off. I think you can see the color better with the light off. Look, how you look. There you go. Yeah, I'll turn can't see it. I think you can't do the colours better with the light off there. And I can't see what I'm doing. So, so where you go there. That's that there wee section there. So we're on to this one over here. Three more drawers to do. And as soon as I get these done, I'm heading home. So, same procedure. Put it in your bottom drawer there like so. so you can start. You can start. You do your. You can do it with the the the, the bottom one, or the top one. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. I want to say right. Get your wee ruler like that. Go across the edge. Make sure the edges are hidden. Like so. I'll do. I think the wee ruler. I'll say. See for your edges. Your ruler is the job. It really is. You know. It. It does it very quick. There's no misses. And you're not getting any runners coming down on the paint at this at the back of your drawer. As I say, I have the back of these the, these painted as well. I took these drawers out and painted the back, you know. So uh, it does it makes a bit big difference when you're doing it right. So are you go again? You have your edges on there. I'm actually looking forward to um Getting the, the, the uh, uh, getting the finished coat on, getting uh, uh, getting the walls finished. The only other thing I have to do is there's um I think it's just a wee bit of skirting board at the corner there, and uh, there's a door and frame, and of course my favourite plumber, who I've mentioned before, uh, Colin Watson, C W uh, Plumbing. He comes and he takes all the, the, the radiators off for me. He's in New York at the minute, cycling his heart out with, with the cycling club that I'm a member of. I've done a wee video on that. And, uh, you, you, you know, so whenever um, he'll come, come back, when I, whenever I get this all painted, he'll come back, put the radiator on, we'll get the carpet down, get the curtains up, and I'll do a wee video of it all finished. Um, I keep trying to rem rem remember 
that this isn't about me. This is a this I the, the, I'm trying to um to give people a few wee tips on home painted furniture and and kitchens and stuff like that. There, you know, and uh, I mean I'm brushing that down there. And honestly, I'm not I'm not just saying this here. If you if you were standing here now, you would find it very very hard to see if there was a brush mark there. You know, and, and that's what that satin finish does, you know. Uh, you know, the, the colour trend satin finish does give a lovely finish. It really does. Just go back to the colour. Okay. So, that's the, the colour that um, all this furniture was, you know. I actually thought it was oak, it's pay. So this, so there you go. I just, I just keep them in there anyway, just to, uh, in case I want to use them for something, you know. So I've two more drawers to do. This one here. Again, don't forget, cross your wee edge with your wee roller. And then, and just, just go over it twice, once or twice, to make sure it's all, it's all covered, you know. And. Uh, Give it a wee, a wee nudge there, a wee nudge there. As I say, it's a, it's a hand painted, uh, it's hand painted furniture. It's not roller. I, I, I do. I have seen, you know, honest to God, um, painters, you know, that, uh, you know, lay things off with a roller, uh, doors and stuff, and it's terrible. I remember a few years ago, uh, my sister asked me. She got, she got four brand new doors. And uh, and they were nice doors. They were, they were like a pretty finished store, like a prime door, you know, four panel doors. And she says to me, "Would I be interested in painting them for?" And and to be honest with you, I was very very busy at the time. I told her I would do them for, her, but she'll have to wait a few weeks, uh, until uh, I could do them for. Her. So anyway, uh, she got this other guy in to do them for. Her. She didn't wait. She got this guy in. And uh, you know, and remember, she my sister paid for the doors. She got a joiner in to hang the door, and then she paid this guy to paint them. You know, and honest to God, the the finish uh, the finish was absolutely dreadful. So it was you know, it, it really was dreadful. They're just big thick roller marks all over the doors, you know. And the thing about it was, you paid a lot of money for the doors, you know. And, and that's the problem. See with the painting trade. Uh, I have ar arguments with so many people over the years with the painting trade, you know. So you're saying, oh, any, anybody can paint and anybody can do this and do that, you know. And, and uh, you know, it's a trade. You know, how can anybody do this here? Hand painted furniture and uh, hand painted kitchens and and hanging wallpaper hundred a hundred and fifty pound a row you, you, you know uh, all this here I mean how can you how can you turn around and say that 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 anybody can do that though you know sad part about it is it's happening I suppose it's happening with a a, a, a lot of trade I suppose but anyway all my customers know. Um, the difference between a good tradesman and uh, the, a lot of them have experienced, you, you, you know, um, get my bad job done and paying for it as well, you know. And I, I've said this to you before and I'll say it again a bad painter will destroy your house, you know. You know, if you, you know, um, I have to go and do, I'm starting a job here uh, at Senate tomorrow. Now I'm not going to be on it, um, I, I'm starting it, one of the boys that works for me is starting it tomorrow. It's the whole inside and the whole outside and um, what happened with this, this guy here was um, uh, the guy that done all the work, he, he, he died, you know. And he was an absolute, I knew when I walked in, this guy was an, a top class tradesman, painter, you know, just knew walking in. And uh, it's actually a privilege to go in and, and redo all the work again, you know, for, for fresh, 
and refreshing the whole place up. And you, you know, um, and, and the outside has to be done as well. And my point is, you know, if you get the wrong guy in to do that, to do that, um, you, you know, to go in and, and do that job, and oh, I'll do that, I'll, and I'll do that in a week, and I'll do it in two weeks and whatever, you know, and, uh, you, you, you know, all, all those faint brush marks, see, all the sand, all the preparation he's put into it, is out the window, do you know what I mean, it, it's, it's completely gone. And uh, so, you know, you have to be very, very careful in the paint trade who you get, you know, and um, anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this video here. There's all, there's those, I'll just bring us back here like so, and I'll bring, I'll let you see those two sets of drawers are uh, done there. There you go, there's that set there. If you can see them there like so. So then I have to get a, another coat. Uh, this top layer has to get another two coats. The shell has to get another uh, one, one, two, three coats. All, all the blue area in around here all has to get coated. And uh, these doors here are ready for a finish coat. The backs and, and that bit of shell in there as well, you know. So um, anyway, that's basically me for today. I'm heading home to have uh, my dinner thanks for watching i hope i've helped you out in some way or or, or another um i hope you have a, i hope you like the color i'll bring the, the, the camera up a wee bit closer here for you and let you see the color uh closer see what you think of it yourself there you go So if hopefully you know, and again there's the end over there, you know, um, and I, I just feel that door there. Honestly, you, you, you know that's two primer and two two coats of that sand. Honestly, there, you can It feels like glass. You you know, and that it, it, it is a lovely finish, and that's what you want. Whenever you have furniture like that there, of course you see to get all this furniture replaced. Will cost you thousands of pounds. To get this hair done and maybe four or five years time do a wee fresh coat if you wanted to you know uh, 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 and it changes all the handles and stuff you know it really is well worth it you know but anyway thanks a lot for watching and uh, all the best i'll speak to you soon bye